What's up, Cowboy Nation and Cowboy Headquarters, and welcome to the Cowboy Huddle. To tank or not to tank? That's the question. What's up, Cowboy Nation and Cowboy Headquarters? And here we are, Wednesday midweek report about who are Dallas Cowboys. It took me, took everything in my body to not to remove this and put this away. It took everything in my body to put my family portrait up there and put my basketball trophy over here. As y'all know, <laughs> there was no breaking news. No breaking news. Again, Mike Nolan still has a job. And... Kellen Moore is still an offensive coordinator. So y'all tell me what they doing. What are they? What are they? What what is the? What is their? What is their mentality of all this? What is Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, Patricia Jones, Lula Mae Jones, Esther Jones, Lil Scotty Jones? Little, little, little Leroy Jones. What are they thinking, man? It was said that Jerry and Steven do not know football. <laughs> That's what I was told. I read something. Somebody, some reporter reported that Jerry and... Whoa. You know what? Hold on, y'all. No, that was probably loud. Sorry about that, guys. I'm a little heat on, man. It's cold outside today. Cold. You can hear me now. But, um, yeah, somebody reported, you know, I'm starting to believe that. I'm starting to believe that Jerry and Steven do not know anything about football. Is this team cursed? Is this team cursed? You kick Tom Landry out. You just do Tom Landry out on his head. <laughs> he took Hershey Walker and just, which that worked for the good for us. But then you just got rid of Jimmy Johnson. Somebody put some Geechee on us or put something on us, man, on our team. But I'm a trooper. I'm going to leave that sitting right up there. And I'm going to leave the helmet right there because it's still my team. But... Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones evidently do not know football. So here's the latest. Everson Griffin has been traded for a fifth or sixth round draft pick. Where are we going, guys? Are we tanking? Or are we trying to play? You know, it would be it would be different if Philadelphia was six and one, New York Giants was five and two, and the Redskins was four and three, or whatever. And here we are, at two and five. But damn it, man! Everybody in our division is two and five. So you mean to tell me tell me that we just rather just tank this season? You know, like I say, man, I don't mind losing. But I never, ever, ever in my life, ever, 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 ever quit. I, I don't even believe, I don't even know what quitting is. I don't quit. I don't quit on nothing. So, this, what we're seeing here, it's like we're quitting. We're trading away Everson Griffin. 
for a fifth and sixth round pick, which let me explain that to you guys because that might make sense because we know we got Randy Gregory coming back. Well, he's back. And it's So I'm just thinking. There's somebody else we could have traded before besides Everson Griffin. Could we not trade it Dorrance Armstrong? He's younger. But then again, maybe he don't have the history or the the the, the numbers that Everson Griffin. So yeah, we traded away Everson Griffin. To open the door for Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory, I'm going to tell you something. Don't you do like these other little busters on his front defensive line. Antoine Woods and 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 all these other. Neville Gallimore, man. You're doing your thing, man. Keep setting the tone, man. Keep setting the tone. Randy Gregory, you get your butt out there. Don't you get out there and start doing all that jumping off sides and not paying attention to the ball. And all over the place. Get your head in the game. Get to that quarterback, dude. You didn't have enough time off. Get to that quarterback. So anyway, so that's the deal on that. Uh, Dontari Poe and Daryl Worley has been cut. I would have cut cut. I would have kept Poe and got rid of uh, Antoine Woods. Yeah, I watch what I'm telling you about Antoine Woods. Antoine Woods, oh my gosh, it's just woo! Antoine getting pushed around, getting pushed on your face, man. Come on, man. Anyway, so yeah, Daryl Worley. I'm thinking Daryl Worley was a practically a new kid or something. Man, Daryl Worley been in the league out there playing like an eighth grader. God dog. So. Bonos, Daryl, Whirly, and see you later, Dontari Poe. I knew I knew Jerry Jones was gonna get your butt. You doing all that kneeling. Boy, you boy, you know you boy. You can't do that in front of Jerry Jones, boy. You can't do that for the man in, in the house. <laughs> you gonna find a way to get rid of you. So good luck to y'all guy, you guys, man. Uh as you venture out. <laughs> Until the land of uncertainty, hopefully you find a team and be successful. Because I don't like nobody to lose their job. But One thing about this game, man, in the NFL, it's a business. It's a business. It's a business. They'll say, oh, yeah, man, old Dontario Poe, he's doing it. Dontario Poe, doing great. Oh, yeah, we love him. That's why we brought him in here. Keep doing what he's doing. Shoot. They probably call Dontari Poe and say, hey, man, bring your playbook. Huh? Bring your playbook. <laughs> Until you play your playbook, it's a wrap. So, it's a business. So, moving on. So, who may be returning, which I think he will be returning. He is returning. Zach Martin is returning back to the lineup. Zach Martin has been cleared of concussion protocol, and he should be available to play on on Sunday. Also, I like saying his name, Chidobe Awizie. Everybody say it, Chidobe Awizie. I like saying that's a cool name. That's a cool. That's some like Black Panther stuff. What's your name, Chidobe Awizie? Man, that's I like that name, Chidobe. My name is Chidobe. That's 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 such a masculine name. I'm Jay. Really, man, I love that name, Chidobe. A wheezy yeah. Wow, that is man, that's dope. So it's a possibility both of those guys might be back uh, to play Sunday. Uh, it's possible Joe Looney. I don't know what's going on with Joe Looney, but you know he messed up his knee. Uh, he uh, it's a possibility that he might come back. Also, uh, Sean Lee. Lord have mercy. Sean Lee done made by 10 years. He done made by almost three contracts. 
And I understand, man, that the injury bug is nothing to play with. I understand, I understand, but dude, it's like, it's like you finally pay off your car. Ooh, paid that car off. And I did this. I paid the car off, man. I drove that car. And I finally paid on phone, and I had about 172,000 miles on that car. Paid it off, but boy, I'm telling you something. <laughs> that dashboard was lit up like a darn stoplight. Everything was lit up on that back. I mean, all the way across that joke. Lights. Like, I drove. I said, shoot, I paid this car. I'm going to drive this car. Shoot. But, you know, at the same time, it got to a point. It was like, man, the money I keep putting on this car to get the, the axle, the, 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 what else I get done on that car, the, 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 head gaskets and oh just spending money so it comes a time it's like let it go sean lee we gotta let it go so yeah it's a possibility sean lee might be coming back to play sunday we'll see but again i'm still trying to figure out what are we doing are we trying to win or are we trying to tank Everybody's hush hush about it. What are y'all trying to do? Man, I hope y'all ain't trying to tank, man. But people say, well, what if we, we do win the video? We go with Adam first round. Who knows? Who knows? It's all the, the game is always played about let the pieces fall where they may. And you never know. Just because we're going down that, that old road, man, or on that path, them pieces might just, the road might just open up for us. Boom. And we just might find ourselves on that road. But man, I don't like quitters, man. I really don't. So, yeah, Sean Lee is, is a possibility. Joe Lewis is a possibility. But guess what? Guess who we bringing back to the practice squad? Have y'all heard? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Cooper Rush is coming back. Now, most of y'all say, oh, Cooper Rush ain't, Cooper Rush ain't that. But I'm going to tell you something. When I went to the training camp, see, what Jason Garrett didn't want, Jason Garrett didn't want no competition. He did not want competition because, remember, he sat Romo down and he brought Dak in, in which Dak was doing good. But I'm telling you, when I went to the, when I went to the, the, the uh, training camp and watched Cooper Rush, Cooper Rush could throw that ball, man. I think he threw it farther than, than Dak. That boy could throw that ball. I'm like, dang, Cooper Rush just, but they didn't want the competition. So Cooper Rush had to sit on that side and say, Cowboys good about that. They be having players, but they don't want the competition. Cooper Rush sat there and did his thumbs like this. Same thing with my son. He played behind the Marcus Wire, but they didn't want no competition. The market work gonna take all the snap. My son had to do this. They didn't want the competition. But it's the business. So yeah, Cooper Rush is coming back to the practice squad once he finished the uh COVID COVID protocols. They bring him on the practice squad, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring him on up to the I wouldn't be surprised, man. If if Cooper Rush might be playing before the season over with. <laughs> That's going to be our hope, man. That might be our hope. Cooper Rush might be our hope. So, yeah, he's coming back, man. That's that's good news. Again, we don't know where this, this thing is going. We don't know if we're trying to win. We don't know if we're trying to lose. But it all falls on Jerry. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones say, shut up so I can answer the question. Jerry Jones, what up on the reporter, y'all? Y'all know it's it's it, boy. You know it, the locker room is jacked up. The team is jacked up. When the owner, the reporter asks the owner something, the owner said, "Well, if you just shut up, and I answer your question." It was on one hundred five three the fan. I don't know who it was, but one of them guys that asked a question about something about do you think that some about the leadership is in the locker room is lost or something? He said. And he kept trying to answer the dude, kept trying to say something over him. And shoot, Jerry said, if you shut up, I'll answer your question. So Jerry's even frustrated. But Jerry, you just don't see. You This is an easy fix. Fire your defense coordinator. Bring Wade Phillips in here. 
Fire your offensive coordinator. Bring, guess who? Let's bring Scott Linehan back. Y'all let that marinate for a minute before y'all go saying, man, he don't want to bring no Scott. One thing about it, remember, when Scott Linehan was here, that's when Dak and Zeke was their best. Come on now. Y'all don't y'all see y'all ain't following the Cowboys like I'm following the Cowboys. Remember when Scott Linehan was here? We was feeding the beast. Our play started with the run game. Oh, don't let me forget to tell y'all about Kellen Moore. I gotta tell y'all about Kellen Moore what he said. God dog it. I think I posted his interview on the Facebook page, but Scott Linehan, think about that. And I gotta get on this, I gotta get on this topic real quick before I forget. So I'm listening to <laughs> Kellen Moore do his, his press interview. His his press conference rather. And just listen to him to him talk and whatever. And he he reminds you so much of Jason Gary. He's trying to talk this little, you know, talk without giving up, you know, this positive talk. And but he's talking about Andy Dalton. He's talking about Andy Dalton. And he said, uh, they asked him a question about Andy Dalton and he went to talking about Andy Dalton. And listen to what he said, y'all could not believe he said this. So this is why I know it's our preparation. This is why these 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 players are talking. Their their practices are like probably elementary. They they're like, what are we doing here? What 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 are we doing? We done this in high school, so you know. But he said he was talking about uh, Andy Dalton. He said, yeah, something. I'm just paraphrasing. He said something to the nature of, yeah, we we got to get uh, Andy up to par. You know, because he's always been our scout quarterback for the other team. Y'all hear what I just said? Andy Dalton is your second string quarterback. He should be getting so many reps with the with with the same uh offensive coordinator, the same plays that Dak is running. Kellen Moore said, Yeah, he's doing an awesome job, but you know, we gotta get him up to par. Because he's usually our scout team quarterback. You make your second string quarterback the scout team up. And when I say that, so what they're doing, they're using Andy Dalton as the opposing team quarterback to run their plays. When me being a coach, my first team, y'all gonna get so many snaps, bring my second team in, y'all get to run that same play. First team run that play, second team run that play. And the more I think about it now, I see why. Those backup, those backup, um, those backup um, linemen are as bad as they are, because guess what? They've always played as the back, as the scout team offense, running their plays. <laughs> and y'all know if y'all play football, if you played on a scout team, man. You getting banged up, you getting beat up by the starters, you getting towed up by the starters, and so that explains it. Yeah. So that's where Andy Dalton's been. He's been the scout team quarterback. So, moving on, let's talk about <laughs> Michael Gallup. News has been reported that Dallas may be considering trading Michael Gallup. And why would you do that, numb nuts? Why would you trade Michael Gallup? Why? Oh, we can get some for Well, if you... You trying to tank? Why go get something for him now?
Why would you? Why would you want to trade Michael Gallup? And I understand he's gonna make nine hundred thousand for this 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 season, but yeah, I understand that's pretty cheap. But dude, don't trade Michael Gallup. Don't trade Michael Gallup. Bad, bad, bad decision. So anyway, guys, we got Philadelphia Eagles Sunday night. You know, I can really say I appreciated that L.A. Rams game and in, 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 in the uh, Chicago Bears game. Even though the Rams won, but it was a good game. It was a good physical game. Good physical game. It was good on both sides of the ball. Just good football. Which is something we hadn't seen in so long. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on. I just thought I'd get on here and share a little information with you. And as we prepare for these Eagles, we, we better beat these Eagles, man. But let's stay calm, guys. Let's stay calm. And let's just see what happened, man. This is our team. We take we gotta we gotta take the licks, guys. We just just take the licks. Social media is dogging us. People at work dogging us. Oh my God! It's just just gotta take the licks and then take everything in my body to not just to lash out at somebody because all oh, they throwing the jokes. My other buddy on on his YouTube channel had a meltdown. Oh my God! She had a meltdown. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you know who you are, man. Keep your head up, bro. You can bounce back. I understand, man. We all feeling the effects of when our team is losing. And like my cousin said, my cousin said it best. He said, it's not fair. I said, what do you mean, cuz? What do you mean it's not fair? He said, it's not fair for us as fans to every year to root for our team and they continue to fail us. And he was serious about that. And I agree. It's not fair to us. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Thanks again for stopping by. Please make sure you hit the like button and hit the notification button. And thanks to all the subscribers and new subscribers as we continue to talk about who else? 